Yo, what's up, folks? It's Sheila Wang here, bringing you some real deal economic insights and investment info straight from China. You're gonna follow my channel and subscribe to my analysis report, cause I got you covered. Now, let's dive into the epic showdown. In my last video, I mentioned how Huawei caught everyone off guard with the Mate 60 Pro. A press conference, no leaked prototypes. Out of the blue, Huawei dropped a boom shell with the Mate 30 Pro. And just like that, they announced they shipped a whopping 100 million units in one day. What? It's attractive everyone's attention indeed. On the other hand, Apple's new iPhone 15 release doesn't quite create the same buzz. Some netizens even joked. Compared to Huawei's way a hand game, Apple's new product seems kind meh. So, I don't know whether Apple is fueling this crisis, but I know that as Apple's investors are definitely fueling it. Apple stock took a hit, dropping by a whopping 2.5% during the trading day and closing down 1.71% with a market cap low $2.8 trillion. And get this, since September 1st, Apple stock has tumbled staggering 6.16%, evaporating over $100 billion in market value. So what's behind Apple's war? On the one hand, it may be due to the new product highlight are less than expected. On the other hand, Huawei's recent strong return may recapture the market share previously stolen by Apple. So guys, it's time to break down the new two products. When it comes to chip configurations, Huawei brings the hate with their domestically made 7 nanometer chips while Apple flouts their 3 nanometer chips from TSMC. In terms of performance, Apple's A17 Pro chip is whopping 10% better than its predecessor, the A16. That's something to get excited about, my friend. In the satellite communication department, Huawei takes lead with the world's first mass market smartphones that support satellite communications. That means you can make course in places where ground base stations can reach. Just like the deserts, open seas, even up in the sky. On the other hand, Apple's satellite communication features are pretty basic, limited to sending distress signals. When it comes to display panels, Huawei introduces their second generation Kunlun glass. Although they haven't disclosed the specific details, when they launched the first generation Kunlun glass with the Mate 50, they claimed it increased the device's durability tenfold. Apple, on the other hand, brings out their super ceramic crystal panel, which enhances screen toughness and job resistance, making it more durable than regular glasses. But let's be real, we will have to rely on actual tests to see who's more job resistant. Now, let's talk prices. Apple tends to be slightly more expensive. So looking back at the entire iPhone 50 launching event, which used to be a tech extravaganza, Apple's innovative streak seems to be getting squeezed. Personally, I don't expect much difference between iPhone 15 and uh, its um, predecessor, the iPhone 14. Let's be honest here, if you're already rocking the iPhone 40 Pro, there's not much need to splurge. However, the Pro versions do have some impressive highlights. 
Firstly, it rocks the first ever 3 nanometer chip from TSMC, representing the cutting edge of the industry. Secondly, their Pro Max version boasts a periscope zoom lens that can achieve 5 times obstacle zoom and mind-blowing 25 times digital zoom. It's safe to see that it's the most powerful camera setup in an iPhone yet. However, Huawei's Mate 60 Pro can do 3.5 times obstacle zoom and a mind-boggling 100 times digital zoom. Huawei's macro and zoom capabilities outshine the iPhone 14. So we are eagerly awaiting a head-to-head -head comparison with the iPhone 15. But you know what I'm really excited about? The shooting space videos with the iPhone 15 Pro series. In simple terms, Apple uses the main and ultra wide lenses to capture 3D video footage. In simple terms, Apple uses main and ultra wide lenses to capture 3D video footage, which, when combined with their Apple Vision Pro handset, creates a more captive -ting and dream-liking experience than regular high-definition cameras. The commercial potential of this innovation is mind-blowing. However, keep in mind that the Vision Pro handset won't be available until next year. And with a price tag of over 25,000 yuan, it's not exactly within everyone's reach. All in all, there's no denying that Huawei has made an impact on Apple. Due to Huawei's comeback, some research reports have suggested the estimated shipments of new iPhone 50 series from 80 to 90 million units down to 78 million units. People are saying that besides the expected 3 nanometer chips, the entire launch event was pretty lackluster for Apple, while Huawei took the crown. I can't argue with that. Huawei has definitely put some pressure on Apple. But you can bet that iPhone 15 still can sell like hotcakes. That's Apple's influence for you. As for Huawei, their path to breaking free from the restrictions has only just begun. It will take the combined effort of the entire natural tech supply chain, and it won't be a quick victory. Let's speak it objectively. Huawei is definitely worth keeping an eye on, but let's not go overboard with the celebrations. Apple's relatively conservative approach to technological innovation has always been their style. They prioritize long-term research and developmental investments and staying true to their own product and strategic positioning. But with Huawei's return, it's about time for Apple to start feeling their own pressure. To make it simple, that's how things tend to work. Just as we know, the higher expectation for something, the greater the disappointment. It's also right for Apple. So guys, this time, Huawei Mate 60 Pro versus iPhone 15. You pick which one. Leave your comments below my video. See you next time.